Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The Body Beat down here, Michael, at your most humble service. Uh, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Anyway, uh, I've already said that. So today I got a couple of packages in. I've already unboxed one and did a video. You can check that video out if you want. Uh, I got another box here to unbox. And this one's kind of risky. Just like the other one was a little risky. This one's a little risky too. Um, the other one pertained to one hobby that I have, one passion and love. This one pertains to another. Um, so this is going to be my first time seeing them really, uh, other than pictures. So uh, they got good reviews. You might get a couple here and there that aren't so great. Otherwise, uh, this gets good reviews. And I hope that it's going to serve me well. What is it, Mike? What the heck is it? My God, man, what is it? Well, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's another box. All right, I've always wanted another box. Isn't it beautiful? Mwah. Love you. Okay, I'm crazy. Anyway, let's open this. I'm gonna open it upside down because the label's right there. Ooh, you might could see what it is by that picture if I showed you. Ooh, can you see? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway, let's take a look. One of these days I'm going to sharpen this knife. Maybe. Maybe I will. Now, if you know what I'm talking about him, uh, you know that I've needed these for a long time. Uh, both my spotter arms and my J-hooks are falling apart. So, boy, them are heavy. Those are heavy. Holy cow. All right, whoa, don't fall now. Don't fall! Got some new J-hooks. Them are heavy dang duty right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what Mikey's talking about right there. That's some heavy duty stuff. That's an adapter to go from like half inch or five eighths or three or whatever to like inch hole, minor inch. So I'll have that on. It does have a locking nut right there you can lock down. Um, yeah. Nice. And they also have, if they got them in here, which they may or they may not, you never know. They do, they got them. They also have these, oh, they even gave you, they even come with a little Allen key to tighten down that little bolt. That's pretty cool. Nice little extra. I like that. They come with these little boogers here. And these go on the back of it to snug it up against your machine. Those are heavy as heck, man. Those are good. And I assume it goes in like so. I'll probably have to wear the paint out to get it in there properly, maybe. No, it goes. So, yeah, I think some of the powder coating will have to be kind of worn to get it going in there smoothly. Not a huge deal, kind of expected. These are three by three. They fit my, my rack. Now those I'm gonna trust. The welds look Welds look pretty solid to me. Um, I assume that this is welded on the inside here because I don't see any welds on this side. So I assume it's welded, which is good for me. It has a hole drilled in the plate and it's welded here. That means it's a little bit more sturdy. I probably would have popped a couple of little welds here on this side but that's me but yeah now those are heavy solid there's no comparing them to the ones that come on the machine uh, it is a budget rack I'm not gonna say what kind it is I don't think I, I don't think I see a name on it but it's probably along the lines of a 
cap or a, something along them lines, you know, weeder, or, you know. But it's it's good enough, and the rack itself will probably hold a thousand pounds. But the accessories, the J hooks, and the safeties do not. So they have worn out over time. My safeties, uh, one safety is completely just broken. So I'm kind of holding them both on actually with vice grips. I got two pair of vice grips actually. And uh, I got them kind of holding on for dear life. So I got metal to get them. I got metal to get some new safeties made. I just don't have the money. So these were about 50 something dollars. And uh, this one looks to be in good shape. Trying to kind of peek at the welds. Welds look fine. Yeah, I think I'm lucky. I think I got a good pair of them. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, me, me, me. Anyway, I think these are going to do the trick, guys. It feels a lot safer already, and why not? I'm not even using them. I might do some rack pulls tonight. Along with my deads, I might do some rack pulls and use these. See how they hold up. Uh, and uh, just so you know, though, uh, there's people on there that have the exact same racks, uh, the same rack that I have, and so I know that they fit. Um, I mean, they have the same exact look and everything, same blue, cheap looking stuff, and so I know these will fit. So anyway, pretty good stuff, solid. Uh, these will hold a thousand pounds easy. I won't be doing a thousand pounds probably, but uh, you never know. So anyway, guys, I'm really happy I got these. I went ahead and just pulled the trigger. I don't have a lot of money, so sometimes buying the simplest thing is not always easy. But you know, I got tired of risking my life every time I'm underneath that bar, and uh, I don't want to die that way. I mean, I'd rather die that way as like, you know, some stupid way. But I don't really want to die that way. So, anyhow, guys, those are really nice. I'm, if I can remember, I'll leave a link in the description where I got them, uh, the ones I got. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoy and uh, continue following my journey on the body beatdown. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown if you would. And get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Now I can bench 500 pounds. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it. <laughs>